Hi guys, my name is Lily and today I want to talk about licorice and unfortunately it doesn't grow here in my area. It comes from Russia, Asia and the Mediterranean. Licorice has pinnate leaves which are 7 to 15 centimeters long and the flowers are purple, sometimes a little bit bluish. But the plant is not the important thing, the important thing is the root and the word licorice is derived from the Greek which means sweet root. One of the components of licorice is glycerine, which is a sweetener. It's 30 to 50 times sweeter than sugar, and that's why the food industry is using it for candies. But it's not also interesting for food, but also as medicine, because glycerine has demonstrated some very efficient effects on the human body. Okay, here I have a small list what glycerine is good for. It's anti-inflammatory, it's antiviral, it's anti alterogenic it's antibacterial, mucolytic and hepatoprotective, which means that it's protecting the liver. Now what's the application of licorice? You can take the root and make a tea with it and it will help against all kinds of, you know, um, stomach aches caused by too much acidity. It will help against gastritis. It will also help against uh, ulcers, so it heals off ulcers. Um, faster and if you have problems with your respiratory tract with your lungs for example bronchitis or cold it will act as an expectorant. Licorice can come with some side effects if you use it for a very long time and excessively it can cause a high blood pressure it will um, probably cause edema and it increases the sodium in the blood by dehydration and it reduces potassium in the blood. So that's something that can happen, but usually if you take normal amounts, uh, you shouldn't have any side effects. I personally use licorice when I have a cold like today, and I usually mix it with other herbs, like today I have plantain and thyme, which are great for a cold too. And yeah, I just use one piece of licorice and it will sweeten the entire cup of tea and temperature wise I always keep the temperature a little bit lower than boiling because boiling um, destroys a lot of vitamins and components in the herbs so if it's simmering like that it's just perfect for the tea Yeah, it definitely tastes sweet and you don't need any sugar in your tea if you use licorice. It can definitely help you out if you find yourself in a survival situation and you get sick. But also for your everyday life it can help you. Like I have this tea always at home and if I get sick I make myself a licorice tea. So guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you want to see other herbal medicine videos, check out these videos here at the sites. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and stay tuned till next time. Bye.